from uh, from a child, you I think Sir would agree is you do a bit more drills when you're trying to work on a particular stroke, and you I think you rally when you sort of fine tune that stroke and you're trying to build more consistency. Everybody, I think every child starts by first drilling a little bit so they can get the habit of hitting the correct way and then putting it, you know, when you're playing against a coach or you're playing against another person and trying to hit it in a live ball situation and you don't have control. Both things are important. Both things are important. Sir, why did Andy Bunny here using coach and Sir, you work so hard for it. You work, if you work so for something very hard, I, I would be surprised you wouldn't get angry. If you work for something for so hard and you don't get it, you would be angry and such it, right? You have, that is what I said in between. Remember when I said, talked about the time that we have in between, not just the points that we get, the 20 seconds in between points, but the, but the one minute or the 90 seconds that we get in between a game when we down and drink our water. That's the time you try and analyze and see what you can do. Instead of getting angry at what you're not doing, try and see how you can fix it. For me, that was always uh, a good way of not getting angry, was trying seeing what I can do better, how I can do it better. It might not work at that point of time. It, you might still be hitting the shot wrong. But at least you're aware of what you can do. Don't think about what you have done. Think about what you have to do next. Correct. Yeah? Sir? Uh, sir, now that you train internationally as well, do you think here, like in India we focus more on like skill and things like nutrition or fitness or like the mental aspect, those things get lacking a bit and is there an age when you would recommend that those things become more important? I think at every, at every age it's important. It's not just to start at 10 or 12 or 14 or 16. Tennis is a, eventually, tennis is a skillful sport. If you don't have the correct technique, you know, every, no matter where you go in the world, that it's more from it, you have to have the correct technique, you have to have the right uh, development going on and it's, it's a lot easier doing it younger than when you're doing it later because you haven't obviously have the habit of doing it. So you, ha it is a skillful sport. If you won't hold the grip correctly, if you won't, you know, hit swing properly or have a, a wrong angle, you're going to either hurt yourself in the future or you're not going to have as good as a shot. So it is important to not just, like I said, nutrition as well. It, it doesn't have to be that you are at a certain age where, okay, let's not eat pizzas or burgers or focus on the veggies. I mean, I know all of you. <laughs> Would, would tell the kids as well to eat the vegetables and, and, and you know, not to see the thing. So it's, it starts from a, uh, from a young age. It doesn't have to be drilled into it like a machine. I think people, you know, kids, obviously you have to enjoy what you're doing and shouldn't feel like they're being forced into it. But I mean, if you find ways to do it where a few days you can eat something or they have whatever they can eat and the other days, you know, they can, I'm sure they can compromise here and there. But end of the day, I think especially as an, as an athlete, when you, when you get there, when you're trying to grow up or, or become something, it is one of the most difficult things and that's why it's so disciplined and you have to be so disciplined. But it doesn't have to be all work, you can just enjoy doing it and find different ways to see how fun you, how much fun you can have while working hard. Yes? Nick, so, uh, you were feeling nervous or you were just... I was feeling nervous. I was feeling nervous throughout the match. <laughs> <laughs> I probably hit it well, I didn't show it because I was nervous. Yes. So, what is your best stroke? My best stroke is probably my fourth. Same? Good. Anyone else? How academies uh, differ? You've traveled all over the world. Uh, so, you know, we see uh, players, players like you, play, other players also, go for advanced coaching to other academies, other particular coaches. Uh, so, uh, one aspect is how important it is to. Uh, actually go overseas and uh, look at academies there for overall grooming? I think for a certain level it is fine. I didn't go to um, uh, any academies till I was about 16 or 17 and, and the main, the one few main reasons were one that I was playing tournaments around that time so it was a lot easier to obviously be there if you have to travel, you've traveled far away, you know if you have to go to America it takes two or three days to get used to the conditions, to acclimatize, to get to sleep so it just for me was made a lot easier if I would go and train first and then play tournaments. A lot of my tournaments took me um, a lot of traveling and the second was uh, at some point I felt that I needed um, there was no one competing at the same level that I was and to, to, go, to gauge my level, to see how I am against some of the better players um, in the world, to play with more than the coaching, it was more to play against some of the, some of the players who were at a similar level to do it. But I, didn't, but I didn't do it till I knew I was doing well in India or, or didn't have 
um, kids in India, and that's the reason I went on 16, 17 when I was when I knew that I had accomplished a lot more in India, and I need to see what my level in in the world was. But in terms of the academy uh, facilities and uh, overall culture, do you see difference uh, in academies here and overseas? Not so much. Um, you know, it's, it's still a lot of it is the same. You know, the balls are the same. The courts as the courts are are similar. Like I said, I think, but at this point, um, you know, they, they shouldn't worry about. But there's so much still to learn. There's so much to engage. There's so much to do. Um, that first and get better here. See how you do. See how you perform, and and then take a call whether you still need to um, travel abroad or not. Off season, what are you looking to improve? You improve a particular stroke, or uh, you work on your health? Really, a little bit of everything. Or sometimes you try and focus, like I said before, uh, a lot of times when you want to improve a stroke, I don't get the time to do it when I'm playing because you play a lot of matches. I'm talking about the off-season. I know, so in the off, so in the off-season, different times, different things. This time I was trying to focus on hitting it harder. The last time I was uh, trying to improve myself. So different times, different things um, is what I've tried to look at. Doing. Does your diet change with the change in surface? Like, uh like clay needs uh, more, uh, you know, fitness uh, as compared to synthetic. Diet does not usually try and stay. I think you need fitness in either way. Whether it's clay or hard, you still have to run. You can't skip that. <laughs> so you need to be ready and you need to be have eaten good to be able to use that. Anyone? Because I try to make sure the first serve, so I can't attack my second serve. But like my forehand, better time.